And we're back talking more about the CVP analysis chapter or the break even point chapter. Last time we were a manager of JetEye Airlines and we were looking at break even points. So this point right here and we were trying to solve for it, but we hadn't quite actually got to the point where we have enough information. And this break even point is actually just the intersection point of our revenue line and our mixed cost function line. And our mixed cost function is just the same as variable cost plus fixed cost because a mixed cost function is just those two different costs. So altogether, this, this graph has three elements which we talked about last time, revenue, variable cost, and fixed costs, since there are only two lines and those two lines encapsulate those three elements. And using that, we actually derived this break-even equation, which is revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal to zero. And we set it to zero because zero is our break-even point. We want to solve for that. And to go a little bit further, if we wanted to expand on these, these elements here, how could we expand these? Well, revenue can actually be expanded to the, the sales price for each ticket multiplied by the ticket because that would give you total revenue if you think about it. So X is equal to number of tickets sold and then variable cost is the same as the variable cost per unit times the number of flights book or the tickets sold and then fixed cost can't be expanded any further because of course it does not fluctuate with cost driver activity as long as it's within the relevant range. So we have this now, it's more expanded and to just kind of shorten it, I guess we can also write it as just SP X minus VC X minus FC equals zero. I guess I just got rid of the sales price and abbreviated it, but it looks a little bit simpler now. So um, this equation right here, this part represents the revenue. This of course represents the total variable cost and this part is the fixed cost. And now that we kind of created this more expanded equation, if we have certain variables, which I do have them, they're just kind of meshed in together right now with all this other content since I forgot that I would be writing over there. So I'm actually just going to shrink this down a bit and our ticket prices are going to be 300, our variable cost per flight is going to be 100, and our fixed costs for this, this jet that we're flying and all the overhead costs are going to be 200, or not 200, uh, 20 million dollars. So I'm going to get rid of this so that I can actually write somewhere. And we'll start constructing our break-even equation. So the ticket price is $300. So that's going to go where the sales price is. So 300 and then we have the number of flights minus uh, 100 since that's the variable cost times X minus the fixed cost which is 20 million is equal to zero. And then we can just expand this to simplify, or not to expand it, but simplify it. And then we'll have 300x minus 100x minus 20 million is equal to zero. We can combine the like terms, so 300x minus 100x is doable, so we get 200x, and then we can move the 20 million over on the other side by adding it. So we're gonna add 20 million to the other side that way it cancels out on the left side and we're left with this 200x is equal to 20 million and then just some simple isolating for x divide by 200 x will equal well 200 we can get rid of two zeros which leaves four zeros and then the 20 in front of it so that's going to be two 
or not 200, but 100,000 flights, I should say. So 100,000 flights, that is your break-even point. So we just solve for it using some simple algebra. And just to go a little bit further, we can actually ask, or not ask, but uh, solve for some questions like these ones right here. So how many flights to actually break even while well, we solve for that? So that's going to be 100,000 flights. How much revenue to break even? Well, we know that we have to or actually generate 100,000 flights or tickets sold in order to break even. So we're going to we're going to look at the revenue part of the equation, which is this, and we're going to say 300 times the number of tickets sold to break even, which was 100,000, and that's going to give us the amount of revenue needed to break even, which is going to be 30 million dollars. And I think that's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to add that there, 30 million dollars and then it says what are the, the fixed and the variable costs well a hundred times one hundred thousand because that's the, the break-even point uh, the total variable cost is going to be is going to be ten million and the fixed cost is already given which is twenty million and this way we can check our work to see that it's correct in that 30 million dollars of revenue at an activity level of 100,000 tickets will have 20 million dollars of variable cost or not 20 million sorry 10 million 10 million and 20 million dollars of fixed cost and that way it will equal zero so that we know that we've actually solved for it correctly. Okay, so that's enough for this tutorial. Um, I think we'll be talking about the contribution margin and more about the CVP chapter next. So I'll see you guys then. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.